Yo, does anyone? Oh, oh no! I have no ammo. I'm getting turned on. Oh, I didn't, almost got turned on. Man, Ryan to the nade. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. What is going on everyone? It is your boy Attach and we are back with a brand new video today. Today I will be showing you guys how to play aggressive in Modern Warfare like a professional player. We'll, give you, we'll be giving you some tips and tricks, some info around certain areas of the map, how I like to do things and what I think can improve your game. And I just want to say thank you so much for showing all the love on my video yesterday. In the first 7 hours it was uploaded, it over 11,000 views, 750 plus likes and that's a lot for me. So uh, just a, a small growing YouTuber but I appreciate you guys for real showing so many loves commenting like saying thank you so much this is so helpful i really do appreciate all the love all the comments all the likes all the new subscriptions and if you are new welcome to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't like comment all the good stuff and i would love to just get your feedback and your constructive criticism about what you'd like to see new video ideas or things that i can improve on in my own videos like i know sometimes i talk too fast i know that i've done that my whole life and it gets a little out of hand so i will always try to work on that but thank you guys for all the love i am open to criticism as well because view me as your friend and just let me know what you think you can roast me from time to time we can have some good laughs together but thank you for all the love today i will be showing you how to play aggressive so let's get right into this video and our first thing we'll be talking about is your movement this is probably one of the most important parts if you're going to be running on the map quick and sliding and jumping on things and going crazy you really want to have the best movement possible you never want to have clunky movement you're running into walls because that is just bad like you never want to be running around just being like sliding the wall like oh just everything's so clunky it just doesn't feel good doesn't feel natural you want to have very smooth movement because when you're having all that clunky bad movement running into walls at least for me it feels really weird and it kind of just throws me off my game because i'm used to just being very smooth with it i will show you like this what i'm talking about just like sliding around hit a yy jump slide hit a little slide cancel get ready for people just keep slide canceling and just yy like just having smooth movement like this because when you're like doing like this or when you're like jumping away i'm trying to like fail the slide cancel but i can't right now okay I can't fail the slide cancel right now. I was trying to fail it and make it look bad. But you know what I'm saying? You just want to have good movement around the map because it's very important. Because if you know someone's going to be right here, you want to hit a little jump around the corner and get ready for them. Or you can hit them with like a little slide cancel shot, get ready for them. You just want to be smooth with it. You want to be able to just climb up, climb up stuff, climb up walls, jump from place to place, jump up here, jump over here. That's the most important part about playing aggressive, having good movement. Because when you have good movement, it's going to put you in the best situations to um, kill people and just take map control. So you always wanna have good movement and that, that could just be practiced by uh, just sliding around the map, getting used to where things are, getting used to what things you can hop on, jump on. And that's the first thing. And you could do that in a private match all by yourself on whatever map you can. So take advantage of private match, take advantage of shooting bots and practicing your movement. All right, and now it's time for a rapid fire segment of certain movements to do on the map and certain movements I like to do. So you pretty much want to slide cancel around every corner and just be ready for people. Because when you're slide canceling, and especially when you're slide canceling a huggish like that, it's very hard for people to kill you because you're just moving so quick. They're sliding. See, they, that bot even slid, and I missed a couple bullets because he slid. So very important to just slide behind stuff, slide, cancel everything, and that's my advice for that. The next tip would be... Bring the drop shot back. The drop shot is actually very, very good in this game and it's underrated. How I drop shot, hold my right analog and then bang, drop shot like that. Now don't just sit up here and always lay down. Unless you have an AR, then it's kind of good. But if you have a sub at long range, don't just lay down like that. What I mean when I say drop shot is, let me try and get into a situation where I can do it. Like let's say I'm in a gunfight right here with this guy. He's like fighting me and then I just hit the corner heavy, fast and hit a drop shot because a lot of people over the years have really adapted to like the jump shot. Everyone just jumping out at them, jump flying at them. And sometimes this catches a lot of people off guard. It catches myself off guard, it catches other pro players and other really good players off guard. So it's always good to just incorporate a little drop shot right here on the corner and always try to make that a rule. Then the next thing is don't do this. Don't just like be in the middle of the map and just like lay down like this and never move. Don't just be stagnant. You never want to just be sitting here and just being like, all right, guys, I have their door. This is just asking to get cameraed, and you do not want to get cameraed. You want to be the one that cameras the other person. Break the cameras in the game because it's either you break the camera or they break the camera, and that's how it just goes. So never just lay down in one spot standing still. Just when you're drop shotting, do it quick. 
the corner, drop shot, bang, get your kill, get it back up, and start going again. Another thing we're going to talk about is always be moving. Let me get into a spot. Like, if I'm on this barrel, I'm not just going to sit like this and hold, hold the angle like this. This is just terrible to just sit like that and just pre-aim. Just never move. That's just asking for someone to jump around the corner and kill you for free, which is just going to get you killed. People are going to be like, wow, this guy stinks. He's a burger. You don't want to do that. So you always want to be on a place where you're literally like shimming around, moving around, and you just don't want to get yourself camera. You don't want someone to come around the corner and just headshot you like that. If, I, if I'm behind these barrels, you never want to just stand like this. You never know what can happen. You want to just shimmy around. You can see through these cracks right here. And you can just see, wait for someone, get a couple shots on them over here, hit a little jump, bang, it's a free kill. And another spot on this map on Hackney Yard that I'll show you, which I'm sure a couple of you know, most of you should probably know this, but if you don't, it's always very helpful to play this little stack area. You can clearly you can clearly see through this forklift right here. So if anyone pushes that, it's literally the freest kill ever. Uh, that's one spot I just like to play. And last but not least, you always want to break the other people's cameras before they break yours, like I just said, but I want to show you guys an example. like. Someone's around this corner, I want to just hit the corner as fast as I can, just as fast as possible. And so, the game being on 12 hertz on private match, and then also you just being able to jump, to jump around the corner like this. If I jump around the corner quick, they are going to see me half a second late, and that have, in that half a second, I could just easily kill them. So you just want to hit the corners quick, be very fast, have smooth movement, pop the dead silence, get a little speed boost. It's always fun. It makes you look like a super soldier. There's a flash right now when you have dead silence on. Yeah, you just always want to be breaking other people's cameras. Don't just sit still and pre-aim and get your camera broken because then they have the advantage. Whoever is moving around the map will have the more of the advantage unless you're in a super head glitch. If you're in a super head glitch, obviously you don't need to move around too much. But if you're not in a head glitch and you're making moves around the map, trying to get the spots the quickest and safest way, you always want to be like jumping the corners, slide canceling the corners, or even just laying down in spots like this, crouching behind cars, sliding around the corners, and just being plain aggressive and fast but giving yourself the best chance to get the kill and win the gunfight whenever you are playing aggressive or fast so you always want to be hitting these corners hot and breaking their camera before they break yours remember that break their camera before they break yours back on a shoot house hard point and i will be playing this map very aggressive i have double time ghost and battle hardened on with my typical mp5 class oh, my mp5 class setup oh my god that nade hurted it that was a Oh, I just got one shot. I was still hurt, unfortunately. But when you are playing, and if you have teammates that you're playing with, that your friends, whoever it may be, brothers, sisters, friends from school, you should be able to communicate. Communicating helps a lot. If you're pushing up this side, be like, yo, I'm pushing up the right side. Yo, I'm going top office. Yo, he is hurt top office. Communication is key. You always want to communicate because it just makes things easier on you. You know what to expect. You know where to aim in. And you just know what's going on. And you're not just in the dark trying to guess all the time because again, yes, you can guess where people are, but to do it every single time, it is kind of difficult. I'm gonna just run and jump child this guy. Oh, I just choked that, bro. My movement was a little sloppy. I wanted that two piece, I would have been sick out the window and then challenge him again. Another big thing that I did not mention yet is use your tacticals. As you can see, I just threw a stun right there, so I knew he was here. Oh, wait, there's a shotgun guy running around our building. Ow. That was tough. Stun another guy over here. Now I'm gonna throw that nade. If I hit someone, I know someone's close. If not, I know they're not that close. So you always want to use your tacticals to get information. All Call of Duty is is getting information. That's literally legit all it is. Dude, what is wrong with this lobby right now? This is the worst lobby I've ever played. And these guys are legit camping so hard. But yeah, like I was saying, it's very important to get info with your tacticals. Oh, let me reload there on an be to my right. Dead. Oh, my team is starting to spawn out now. You must go find the campers and eliminate. Bro, I'm actually getting pissed off. That guy's even more mad though, because he spawned behind me, or I spawned behind him. Oh, they're all over there. Shit. Shit, I need to get that four piece. Quick little three. Oh my gosh, I'm one shot. And down over here. Get the ammo crate. And usually I'll be using stim. And pubs, you guys know me. I love my stim. It's just very helpful. It'll heal you up real quick. But I want to use the stun right now to show you guys how you should be using your tacticals, what you should be doing with them. You can bank them off walls. You can use a semtex if someone's chasing you. You throw your semtex behind you on your chase. 
and it will help keep you alive, I promise you. Right, let's go. Oh, team, I got your right, I got your trades. Uh-oh. Here you, I'm not hear him up here, and also you can use audio cues to get information too. Audio cues are very helpful as well to get information. Oh, he's over there. Okay, I got a nade right there for him. Oh, bang, bang! A little ten kill streak. Are we gonna nuke again? We have to get a nuke again. Hit, hit the, hit the little. Never mind, bro. I thought I was gonna hit the slide cancel on him, but he was ready for that. I gotta respect that play. Can't even be mad about that one. Running into the hard point. No fucks given. Oh my god, I just got a two-piece somehow. I just got a three-piece. What's going on? Oh, I just get that three-piece. The corner heavy. Oh, he's so one-shot, bro. Oh, I'm just trying to play so aggressive right now. I'm playing a little too aggressive from time to time. But hey, it's the name of the video. It's playing aggressive. And I want to teach you guys how to do it and how to do it confidently. Just hitting shots. Hitting the corner hot. And he just melts me. I kind of missed a couple of bullets there. I'm not even going to lie. It happens. I got to go watch my other video from yesterday. I didn't ever miss a shot. Or I'm going to keep missing shots. And that's not good. Oh, right there. Nated. Flash to post to buy myself time. I'm hurt right there. I don't want anyone to push me. Because I'm. Like I said I was just hurt. Someone pushing me, they're gonna get easy kill on me. That's why I threw the nade to block that lane off and make it so if they try to push, they'll get hit by the nade and get one shot or even die. It's just those little things like that. When you're in those close quarter situations and people are close to you, you always wanna do that. Bang a flash off a wall, see if anyone's there. Throw, it, throw the nade up there. If anyone's pushing, block, you'll find out with that. Climb over here, I see you. Come on, come on, come on. Watch out for that box. Get a quick fitty bomb. Oh my gosh. The ammo crate down again. We actually have a lot of ammo. I don't even know why I threw that. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yo, does anyone. Oh. Oh no. I have no ammo. I'm getting turned on. Oh, I didn't... almost got turned on. And right into the nade. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Don't mind me. I'm just sliding around the map. Damn it, bro. I just missed. How do I do that crazy shit with the movement and just absolutely fry those people? And then that happens where I just get quick scoped. The car 98k is very good. Okay. This guy was just ready for me, I guess. One minute remaining. Aw. Oh, people are starting to leave. Are you serious? That's unfortunate. People are starting to leave. Whatever, guys. This has already been a very long gameplay. 60 kills so far, but I'm going to end up leaving as well. Just want to show you guys what it's like to play aggressive. But thank you guys all for watching. If you made it to the end, you are a real one. I appreciate you. I would really appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Keep the hype going. But thank you so, so much for all the love. I will see you in the next video. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.